Previously on Until Dawn. Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. So have fun. Lord, do this! Jessica! Oh my god! Oh my god! Shit! There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? Ladies and gents, here we go. Episode number five, Dread. All right, so clearly we saw the, the route that we are gonna need to take. It seems like they either unlocked or locked a specific portion, like a basement of some sort. So from this moment on, I do not know what's going on. So I haven't played anything past this, except for I think one part that's obviously going to be in the future because you get to play a couple of different demos. Okay, I don't know exactly what that was. Obviously that was a bat. A prophecy of good fortune, however. All right, well, let's check out some more of the events of the past. Thing and like Sometime after, the prospectors came to mine this mountain until a cave-in trap and driven mad murderers. Human flesh. and many hunts. I grasp beyond my reach. A year ago, I was finally able to get him in my sights. Okay, so whoever is talking is actually the guy that was in the very beginning prologue. Like you said, a year ago, I was finally able to get them in my sights. That's the guy with the weird, he had the weird glasses on, the guy looked like he had a mask. The guy in the in the prologue that you actually see trying to uh, lend his hand out with Hannah and Beth. So we unlocked a little bit more of this mystery. I gotta say, my favorite characters so far are uh, Mike and Chris. Now of course everyone's like, well Mike's an asshole. Well, he's only an asshole if you choose to be an asshole. And I haven't chosen to be an asshole with Mike. Therefore, I really actually like his character. 
and of course I really like Chris as well. Of course Sam as well. So it's it's a I guess a mix up between those three. Everyone's gonna love Sam though because she's so far seems to be the number one like most goody two shoe. Awesome. Why wouldn't I end up in the creepiest place on planet Earth? June twelfth, nineteen fifty four. So obviously we don't want to go through the front door. That's where they went through. So we're gonna take this route. Even though it was suspicious that they came down here to either unlock it or lock it, but... Um. Okay, so that's that was Matt. You could tell by the Letterman's jacket, and he was killed by some creature. And you, you, you don't get a very. Maybe you guys can pause it, like you can see what the creature is. But we unlocked another one, so. Sometimes. All right, so that one wasn't very long. I don't want to, you know, bore you guys the whole time by going through that every single time. So whenever we get to the new one that we're unlocking, we'll only go to that point because you guys have pretty much seen it all. There was eyes outside, but I don't think it was. Oh, that's different. <sighs> So I do remember seeing a section where uh, we messed with the wolf, but it was a good thing. I see nothing shining over there, so we'll go back to where we came from before we enter into that admin section there. That's weird. They just forced them all out. 
Okay, it's some safe. Oh, no one really wanted to take a peek inside. It's a little unbelievable that the safe was open. Clocking in cards. So, Morg is telling me it's that way. Oh man, this is so freaky. This kind of reminds me of, I don't know if you remember in the game, Thief, the remake, that asylum that we had to go into. Kind of has that feeling. Oh, it looks like we've got something. Someone bit. Lots of uh, 1952 things that we're unlocking here, so why don't we take a look at all of that. Clearly, if you guys want to read any of these articles, uh, that's, you know, pause button. You can dive yourself deeper into the story. I always do that after I watch these videos. down. <laughs> Here. 
cheer. They cheer with leather straps restrain the patient. There's blood on it. Looks like it was used to get out of a weird experiment. Used as part of a weird experiment. There being a totem about the wolf and it being a good thing, so I'm gonna try to stay positive. If we play our cards right, we can do it correctly. It doesn't have to go bad. I felt like that's like a a missed opportunity there. That could have been something really cool. Yeah, shit. Trap, amputate fingers. That's a good thing. Let's check out this butterfly effect. And yes, if you're wanting to know, you can turn off the options of where it shows other people's decisions. Now, I don't let other people's decisions choose how I play this game. I play this, this game the way that I feel I would make those decisions. But it's nice knowing how different 
the decisions that I make can be from everyone else. And there's been a few instances of that, but let's check out both of these. Uh, and which one will die? Chris said that he would save Ashley, and that hasn't come to fruition yet, so that's the, the, the cause. But what was the effect? You know, what would have happened if we would have saved uh, Josh instead? And then, oh, here we go, yep. Freed himself from the bear trap, but Mike no longer has a usable machete, so we need to find another weapon. But it doesn't look like the wolf is coming after us. Oh, something flashing. There might still be hope for us. This place just gets better and better. Human head. Ugh. Alright, so we're not going to the chapel just yet, obviously. We have a room to inspect. Some blood on the wall. Oh, I see something flashing. by M8 fatal lacerations to throat. Body was not discovered until 68 hours after death, eaten by the attacker. Ooh, there's somebody in there. I can't tell. Okay, oh, let's check this out. Chapel? It said chapel. Maybe it's like a key card. Ah, yeah, so it's like a timestamp of some sort or. where we need to go. Yeah, we're just gonna leave you be. Go 
going down to the chapel. Alright, looks like that's it. He's gotta be getting cold. I was kind of afraid we were gonna have like some type of quick time event there with the wolf, but... is open. Okay. right now see I I knew it there's there's got to be something with this animal our brave is still in a weird position but it's all the way up to the top um oh there's an update to this according to the telegram the owners were trying to cover this up That's where we were good with this animal. I saw it in the totem. Jeez. Taking the chance. Yeah, good boy. Yeah. It happened, yes. Hey, guy. You like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everyone likes a little loving, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Just like in Resident Evil 4, you know, you help the dog out or things can end up being on your side. Let's see the butterfly effect. Mike didn't kick the wolf. Mike made a new friend. I'm sure that might come in handy one day. So, what have we here? remember when I said that I feared guns more than knives, but I wonder if that has any effect. Bigfoot sighted. Alright, Strain, we're doing good so far. Let's see if we can keep it up. Keep searching before we go into that room. Ah. Uh, the stogie stash exposed.
<laughs> oh, I don't want to do this. Maybe this will keep the wolves fat and happy. Now, are we supposed to use that like on the dog? Maybe this is, if you were mean to the wolf, you would definitely need this of some sort. Probably didn't need to do that. I'm guessing that we're already in the dogs or the wolf's good grace. Alright, let's move on. We're gonna see if we can grab another one. Maybe another one is required up ahead. I don't know if it's gonna let us grab one. Nope. Hopefully we won't need it on another. There's two dogs if I remember in that cutscene that played earlier, so hopefully it's not gonna screw us up. I would have just hit the lock. It's probably easily breakable. Just because I don't want to waste ammunition. We might need it. I do like how these episodes have a pretty good length to them. totem. This is not a good one, I can already tell. It looks black. Alright, so that's a death totem. He was back in the cabin, it looked like. One of the cabins. Possible death, so we all know that Mike can die. Sometime after the prospectors came to mine this mountain until a cave in trap and driven mad murderers eating human flesh wounds and many hunts. I grasp beyond my reach. A year ago, I was finally able to get him in my sights. Disaster is a success, so maybe they didn't need each other. Hmm. Not seeing anything light up. All right, let's head down. He is really too calm for my tastes. I'd be just freaking out right now. But, you know, I'm playing this character and I want him to be the heroic type. found another spot here of course locked <laughs> uh. 
Locked. The hell who did that? Then there's some seriously uncool shit going on up here tonight. Now the only Can other part that I know dead. is with these Can two characters. Died. No, I mean, what if they were wrong? What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. I, I don't know. There are some things that once you see them, you can never find to see them. Yeah, I guess, but some things you have to see for yourself. I'll take their word for it. There was a section where they were near a bunch of deer. But uh, we're not there yet, but when we get there, I'll definitely let you guys know. See if it, what changes. Paint? It's still fresh. Hmm. Oh, found another totem. Yep. Okay, so I know about this one. This was a possible ending for that demo that I played. Alright, four out of six. We're not doing too bad so far. And let's uh, see what uh, the events unlocked. Sometime after the prospectors came to mine this mountain until a cave in trap and driven mad murderers. Cannibals eating. Human flesh. Moves and many hunts. My grasp. Alright, so I think the new one we saw was cannibals. So that's something new to add. Look! An axe. I feel better with an axe. Ooh, here's that axe maybe that was taken from the main cabin in the second episode, or the first episode, I guess you could call it. Well, no, maybe it was the second. Oh, what now? This is locked, Matt! We'll break the door down, will ya? Whoa, wait a second. We start smashing shit down, he's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? I don't know. How about... Look! What? A window. That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip balm through that little slot. No, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. I won't fit, but you will. Are you nuts? You're gonna shove my ass through that little hole? I've seen you slip into some pretty tight jeans, Em. Uh, excuse me? It's a talent. Think again, lughead. No can do. For one thing, that maniac is probably just sitting there under that window waiting to blend us into pina coladas. <sighs> okay, fine. Here it goes. I'm gonna huff, and I'm gonna... Shh, just do it! Oh, so... Damn. We couldn't uh, get her to go through there. if we had a better rapport with her because of, uh, you know, not choosing correctly and other things. We were here just a few 
few hours ago. This must have just happened. What the fuck is going on? It's got to be the guy, though. The one who, who got to Chris and Ash and Josh. He's got to know this is the only way back. Don't say that. Look, the cable car's all the way out there. Well, that's, I, I mean, that's not far, right? You, you can jump it? <laughs> I'm good, Em. But not that good. Flattered, though. Well, Matt, if you can't jump that, what are we gonna do? I... I don't know. All right, so no, I don't want to do that. I want to look at his character and how he is with Emma, Emily. See, he's he's below the line with Emily. We got to keep, I guess, these people above the line. So we need to figure out how we can gain our rapport with Emily again so that, you know, things like that don't happen so we can choose the better routes. We need to be more funny, more brave, more romantic, more curious, and more honest. Although we are very charitable. It's like so busted up. I think they knew exactly what they were doing. Man, that looks so good. Someone really did a number on this joint. Such a mess. This place was barely in working condition before, and now? Radio tower, it looks like. Sanatorium. We're at the cable car, so there's another route that will take us to there. Okay. okay there's got to be something hey, we look. can do. Fire tower. Hey, Magellan, maybe we should get the cable car working and take the show on the road, huh? Very friendly. <sighs> Unfollow. <sighs> I mean, it, it would, wouldn't it? Probably, yeah. Matt, we gotta get to that radio! We can use the radio to call for help. Somebody's gotta pick up the signal. Wow, Matt. Good call. Radio. So smart. Why are you being so bitchy? We're in a serious situation Well, here. Matt. Easy. Well, we got a status update. Let's check it out. Oh, we lost some with her. I was agreeing with her and we lost rapport with Emily. Wow, how does that happen? Well, I have a feeling uh, one of us is not going to save the other's life. Oh, <laughs> hold up. If I'm not able to save everybody, I will at least show you what you need to do to save everybody once the the first blind walkthrough is done. <laughs> What's cooking, good looking? Getting us out of here, Mr. Meat for Brains. How could that should definitely give us some okay. rapport? I mean, come on. <laughs> okay, easy now. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Almost. Almost. I'm feeling kind of faint. Don't look down. Whoa. Okay. Okay. 
Holy cannoli, thank God that's over. Yeah, for real. I guess it didn't. It's a yellow or brown, maybe. The guidance token. So I see a flare gun. But I wonder if she'll... She's gonna obviously give us a flare gun, but do we have to have enough rapport with her to receive that flare gun? That's the question. What if it doesn't work? What? The radio. It'll work. But, okay, if it doesn't, we need a plan. Maybe we can just climb down. Climb down what? The mountain. Are you serious? What's the big deal? It's not like it's floating in the sky. <laughs> it might as well be. It's pitch black out. Hey, hopefully we won't have to. You think the psychopath is just gonna give up and run away? No. But maybe we should find a safe spot. Hold up, wait it out. It'll be a lot easier to figure this all out in the morning. As long as we don't hide in the lodge, that's where he expects us to go. So as you can see, you know, me being the nice guy throughout the whole thing has ended up me causing a rift between Emily, which could end up causing some bad things happening in the future. So if I wonder if I would have just, you know, egged the fight on with Jessica, that that would mean I'm in better rapport with Emily. She's going right, so I'm gonna go left. Huh? That looks like there's no way there. But we did find something. Oh, this could be the phone! <laughs> Yep. Remember when they were running across this bridge? Whoa, this is Beth's phone. I thought the police, like, swept the whole area. Well, it looks like they missed this. So we know that they ran this way, so where did they go from here? Oh, I see something. Oh no, here we go. Well, that looked like a good fortune there. Prophecy of good fortune, yep. Let's see what we unlocked. Sometime after, the prospectors came to mine this mountain until a cave-in trapped and driven mad murderers, cannibals, eating human flesh. Yeah, we already saw the one that said that. It was a very, very short clip towards the beginning. Alright, this is starting to actually look familiar from when I was at the E3 demo. Yep. Alright, this could be it. So I, I know what I need to do in order to... Uh, characters can die here. And I'll do my best to make sure that doesn't happen. Watch where you step around here, Em. Yes, Matt. Given the choice, I'd prefer not to spend my evening plummeting to my death off a snowy cliff top.
out there. Being creepy. Okay. <laughs> now we've all seen the gameplay demo of this. But it has been I think at least a year since I've seen that, so... I will do my best. Oh, something. Oh, Pete's sakes, my clothes, really? Whichever one of you did this is off my Christmas list. Seriously, not cool, guys. Not cool at all. So we've already searched pretty much this Chris? whole house. Josh? What the hell? I guess we'll just look a few places. Okay, no, we already saw this that. This is yeah, so really getting out of hand, okay? It was all very funny, haha. -ha. Look at Sam walking around in a towel, but now I just really want this to be over, all right? You had enough? All right, so clearly, guys, no, we've already searched pretty much every nook and cranny in this place, but we'll still look just a little bit. Clearly, we're following the things that say go down. Can I have my clothes back now, or am I supposed to hang out in a towel for the rest of the weekend? Towel? All right, so it looks like we're going all the way down. We'll search here first. Could we get into that door before? So what do we have here? Oh, shit. What is this? Circular saw replacement. Oh, no. Those are the blades. I, we didn't get this earlier? I don't know how we didn't see that earlier. Yep. Looks like every room is going to be unlocked except for the path, probably. Trying to freak me out, guess what? You succeeded. The hell are you guys? Wow, this is weird. Ten 
seconds. Nine. No, 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 no. Seven. Please, no. Sam. 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 Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. and yet in a crucial moment you are foiled by your own inadequacies. I told you that everything you do has consequences. Do you think this mistake won't have repercussions? What you do and what you say causes things to change. Yes, all the good work we did exploring the source of your fear. And you've just gone and used it for ill. Mm-hmm. Your overwhelming fear of isolation. You have turned it against these people who use a desperate one to torment. Has it been worth it? <laughs> 